G'day, Alex here from Tactical Arbitrage, and in this video we're going to talk about the green button up here that says Import Data. And, uh, I mean, it's not going to break anything by pressing it and seeing what comes up, so let's click on that. And you can see here it says Choose Your Flavor. You can import a TA export file. Now, import a TA export file. We discussed this in the, uh, the download part of the View Data videos. But we also have, if you go across here to hit download all here, you can download as a proprietary TA file. TA files can't be changed. They're essentially a locked box. You're taking a locked box folder of items and you can reopen that box um, within, say, your saved data room or submit it to a friend who's got tactical arbitrage and he can open that lock, locked box. It's just, it's just a closed .ta proprietary format file. Now, the import data file also has import as is. Now, let's read that one, all right, so I can explain it better. And don't forget to use these little, these little uh, mouse over question mark icons as well, because a lot of information is in there. So basically, it's saying that you may have removed some rows before you import this file. However, as long as the headers in the CSV file are the same, from left all the way to right, you should be able to import this the same as a downloaded CSV. So let's say you've downloaded a CSV from either the view data page or from one of your saved folders. You can then re-import it even after you've removed some of the rows from it. Okay, so lastly we've got probably the most recent addition to tactical arbitrage and the most interesting addition to the import section which is import csv columns okay so what we've done is we've worked out the bare bones of what you can get away with importing to actually have us calculate the data now at the end of the day what we really need is we need the um, amazon asin and we need the uh, the product, the source, the source product URL. With those two items alone, we can actually get a lot of information. With a little bit more information, such as the image um, from the original source and a couple more things, we can make uh, the data that we present to you even more robust. So, um, what does this mean? Well, it means that you've got a lot more play in um, what you import. Let's say once upon a time you bought a. Uh, a list of one of the fulfillment by Amazon groups out there and it claimed to have 10 products on there that were profitable and whatnot and at the time you bought them and maybe they were profitable or maybe too many people bought the list and there was a race to the bottom now you may have discarded that list and it's sitting in a folder somewhere just unused now you can bring that list back out re-import it into tactical arbitrage have it update with all the latest prices and uh, information and see whether or not that old product that was once a profitable item is now profitable again. Hence resurrecting some of these old discarded lists. So um, let's have a look at uh, a CSV and let's see how this works. First I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call this one um, Alex import CS CSV and we're going to create that one and uh, I might as well just export these little 15 items on this page I'm not sure what they are or when I added them to tactical arbitrage but I'm just going to export these uh, download this as a CSV file all right now I wanted to show you how the importing thing works so Let's remove a bunch of these columns. I'm going to remove, um, I'll remove everything after ASIN onwards. So I'll remove all this extra information on here. So we really don't have much. We don't have anything about the pricing or return on investment or anything. All we've really got there is uh, the source, inf some source information and uh, the ASIN. And I'll save that. As, um, to import, save, and we'll close that off, close that, and let's find uh, my Alex import CSV folder, and I'm going to use the third option here, import CSV columns, choose a file, download to import, 
open uh, import and it's saying uh, compulsory items are product detail page URL and the ASIN good to include we've also got here um, we do actually have the title and the image in our uh, document and optionally and you can see it's automatically allocating it where it's got the information so um, a lot of this stuff if you already got most of it you don't need to worry about but otherwise you can assign the columns accordingly so that's enough for me to hit the import button and uh, it says 15 results are coming in and you can see the information is all in there however one quick click of the update data button update all and it's now going to be able to give you uh, all the information on that imported CSV even though we didn't have all the information in the document before and sure enough a few moments later we end up with all of the products updated with the missing data from the CSV the prices the the rank the uh, reviews everything that's up to date so that is the three flavors of import data and how to use them and in the next video we're going to have a look at moving and copying uh, information to different folders